fire marshal will be looking for the cause of an overnight fire in Johnstown. It gutted the inside of a two-story home on Oak Street, even though it's still unclear if anyone was living there. Kerry Corrado has more. Well, they told us to, to, get, to get out. I mean, the cop did. Right. And I told him I wasn't leaving until I got all my dogs and stuff out. And John Leary's pets were number one on his list after he was asked to be evacuated. He helped bring his 10 dogs and three cats to safety after the home next door caught fire. His pets taking cover in his car. My family. <laughs> we all made it out safe and sound. Leary was at a bonfire across the street. Come out to sit on the front porch and I smelled smoke. My wife was inside. In the kitchen, I said, I smell smoke. She goes, oh, you're just crazy. You smell it on yourself because fire, you know. I said, no, there's something's on fire. And I stood up and I looked and I seen smoke coming from the house next door. This is cell phone video moments after the firefighters pulled up. Thick smoke was pouring out of the top window. But for some, the smoke came as a surprise, a harsh morning wake up call. And the neighbors were hollering for me to, um, to come outside. When I came out, I seen smoke everywhere, so I called 911. Well, I was in taking a shower, and I come out, and I had just seen, seen all the lights and everything, and I had no idea what was going on. Firefighters were able to stop the flames quickly. The inside is severely damaged. The fire crews had a very quick stop on it uh, and stopped it before there was any damage to the neighboring home. Yeah, you do get worried with the houses being so close. No injuries were reported. Penelec was called to the scene. Neighbors say they are not familiar with the people who live in the home. The fire station is right down the street, so firefighters were able to get to this home pretty quickly and put the fire out. As for the cause of this fire, the fire marshal is being called in to investigate. In Johnstown, Kerry Corrado, 6 News.